Hi everyone and welcome to the Stata learning video about time series and date variables. Stata understands time series well and it has a bunch of commands specifically meant for time series. The most important of them is TSSet or time series set that is used to set the data set as a time series. The time series variable has to be a numeric variable, Stata does not accept string variables, and obviously the variable has to uniquely identify all the observations and put them in the right order. In economics, time series often have daily frequencies or quarterly frequencies, but sometimes the frequency may be annual. In other research fields, for example in physics or technology, time series may use milliseconds or some other frequencies. The dataset is set as a time series using the command tsset. As the example dataset, I use stock data that I downloaded from Yahoo Finance. The date variable in Yahoo's data is in a format that Stata is unable to understand as a date. Sometimes Stata automatically reads dates and as dates, but in this case, in Yahoo's case, Stata understands the date variable as a string variable. Therefore, it has to be transformed to such a format that Stata is able to interpret it as a date variable. For this purpose, Stata has the command date, which is used together with the command generate. Hence, let's type gen date2. Date2 is here the variable name equals date. This first date is the command date. Then, immediately inside parentheses, we will type again date. The second date is the variable name date, then comma and inside quotation mark ymd, where ymd is the order, order in the Yahoo date variable, year, month, date. Stata is smart enough to automatically identify the separators in the date variable, which in Yahoo's case are hyphens between the y, m and d. If you wish, you can include the separators in the command, but it's not necessary. Stata understands dates as a sequence of integers from the 1st of January 1960. That is, the 1st of January 1960 is number 1, the 2nd of January is number 2, and so on and so on and it doesn't tell us that much. However, the date variable format can easily be changed to an understandable format using the command format. In this case, the frequency of the data is daily, so let's change the format as a date by typing format date2, then we need percent and immediately after that TD, TD for time day. When the date variable is in status date format, many things become easier. Generating variables for year, month, quarter, and week is now easy. Stata is very straightforward in this matter. For example, generate year equals year and inside parentheses date two we get the year variable. In a similar way, generate month equals month and inside parenthesis date 2, we get the month variable. Generate quarter equals quarter date 2. Personally, I have never needed generate week equals week date 2, but maybe you will need a variable for week. A variable for day is generated by gen day equals day day2 and a variable for the weekday can be generated using the command 
generate weekday weekdays again the variable name equals d o w d o w like day of week and inside parenthesis date too wow is in stata lovely this is something where stata again excels let's type browse and see the results weekday is a number from one to five because there are no weekends in the stock market data quarter has values from one to four as it should be note that stock market data should not be set as a time series by the date variable because stock exchanges are closed during weekends and holidays if the data set is set as a time series using the date variable stata is unable to compare monday's values to friday's values so it interprets saturday and sunday as missing values an easy way to get around this is to use a sequential number to set the data set as a time series that is an increasing number one two three and so on it can be easily made by typing generate mark mark is here the variable name that could be anything equals underscore and n now let's type ts set mark and voila the data set is a time series without any gaps but before doing this make sure that the data set is in the right order despite this the date variable should be made because it allows for making variables for years quarters months and so on as we previously saw in addition a cqn cell number as an independent variable is difficult to interpret in graphs by the way stata has its own time series graph command ts line using ts line you don't have to type the independent variable or the x variable in the command because stata automatically uses the time variable as the independent variable nonetheless in my opinion ts line is a more or less useless command because using the common graph command line is just as easy in addition when using line you can choose the independent variable typing line adjusted close and date to gives us a nice graph after the data set has been set as a time series you can use the time series operators l dot d dot and f dot that make it easy to use lagged values differences and forwarded values for example generating a returns variable is very easy using l dot and d dot generate returns equals d dot adjusted close d for difference divided by l dot adjusted close times 100 this is a time saver thanks once again for watching and i hope you find my videos useful have fun working with stata